Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be showing you a grocery haul. I actually just got back from grocery shopping, as you may be able to tell because my nose is probably still a little red because I took the bus back and it's cold outside. This week I went to three places. I usually only go to two. I go to my smaller grocery store that I only buy produce from, and I went to Giant Eagle, which is a local chain here, and I also went to Trader Joe's. So I'm going to show you everything I got from there, and I'm just going to put the prices on the screen later. I'm going to start with a smaller grocery store that only really sells produce, in which I have in this bag here. I always bring reusable bags with me because I hate wasting plastic, and these work just as fine. So, got some spinach. I got three apples. I usually use these for my oatmeal in the morning. A red pepper, a bag of carrots, a big head of cabbage. Not sure what exactly I'm going to do with it, but it was only $1.50. So then I got this giant bag of onions. It was only like a dollar. And I decided to treat myself and they had some blueberries. They were more expensive, but I just got them anyways because the rest of the stuff I got was pretty cheap. And last but not least, I got a giant bag of sweet potatoes. I think there's, ah, there's like seven in here and they're all about this size. That's the first bag. Then I went to Giant Eagle, which is like the local grocery chain here. I usually go to both um, both a normal grocery store and the smaller produce grocery store once a week because the produce is so much cheaper at this store. It really is worth it, and it's really close to my apartment. It's only a short walk. And then I just buy like my shelf-stable stuff at the grocery store because I save so much money when I just buy the produce um, at the other place. I only go grocery shopping for myself. But I do tend to buy in bulk anyway, just because it's cheaper. And when something's on sale, I usually stock up on it. So, for instance, I have plenty of cans of tomatoes and cans of beans already in my apartment. So I didn't buy any this week. But I ran out of all of my cereals, so I bought a lot of those this week. Which is exciting to see, because cereal is probably more interesting than me pulling out cans of black beans. But we'll just start with that, I guess. I got some puffed camet. I wanted puffed rice, but this was on sale. So I got it instead, and it basically tastes the same. And then other cereals. Kashi was on sale this week. So I got Sweet Potato Sunshine. I've gotten this before, and I really love it. It's probably my favorite, like, fancier cereal, but then you buy the cheaper cereals for the volume fillers. And I decided to try Indigo Morning. It's cornflakes with dark berries, and I love cornflakes, but... All of the standard cornflakes that the grocery store sells tend to have vitamin D3 in them. And just for all of you who don't know, vitamin D3 is not vegan. It's derived from sheep's wool, which first off, I think is absolutely disgusting. I don't want sheep wool in my cereal, thank you. So if anyone knows a regular plain cornflake brand, um, let me know in the comments of this video because I'm addicted to cornflakes and I can't find any good ones. Um, and, and I just got some shredded wheat because I really like it in my cereal. I like mixing it and I kind of like how it gets soggier. Yeah. Also, I got some almond milk. I always, oh sh**. I actually just realized that I screwed up. I usually buy unsweetened original so I can use it when I cook and in sweet things. But I bought unsweetened vanilla this week. So, oops. But it's okay, I actually still have a little cashew milk left over from last week, I think, so if I need to cook with it, I'll just use that. I also got a big container of oats. I use a mix between quick oats and rolled oats in my oatmeal just because this is so much cheaper and it's worth it. It's like two pounds and it's like two bucks or something. And then I got some fresh mint. I usually don't buy fresh herbs because I think they're pretty expensive, but I'm using this for a recipe, so I got that. And I also got two bags of frozen vegetables. I got a bag of corn and a bag of peas. I buy them in the big bags because I'm going to go through them anyways, and it's cheaper to buy bigger. 
The good thing about shopping in the middle of winter when it's below freezing outside is you don't have to worry about your frozen veggies melting before you get home. And I'm just gonna put these in the freezer before they melt though, because I kind of forgot that I had to bounce still. Okay, so that's all for this bag. And then I did get two bunches of bananas at the grocery store too. Usually I buy my bananas by the case, but I'm kind of running out and I'm going on vacation next week. So I couldn't buy another case because they'd be sitting in my apartment for a week. So I just got these and they're already pretty ripe. So hopefully I'll be able to freeze them soon. I'm running out of room. So put them here. And then finally I went to Trader Joe's. Um, I usually don't go to two different grocery stores in a week, but I actually needed to buy something for a friend. So that's the only real reason I went there. But because I was there, I decided to pick a few things up. These are more random, but they're just things that they are exclusively from Trader Joe's that I've wanted to try. So first, I got the Lavash flatbread. This is actually inspired by High Carb Hannah on, here on YouTube. I feel like she eats this pretty frequently or used to eat it pretty frequently and is always saying good things about it. So I decided to give it a try. And actually, I was starving on the way home from the bus, so I already ate one of the wraps and it is pretty good. I also got a bag of brown jasmine rice from Trader Joe's um, because I think the rice is pretty cheap and jasmine rice is the best rice out there. I don't care what anyone else says. It's definitely better. And then I got a box of medjool dates from Trader Joe's. I don't know. When I bought dates at other places, they're usually pretty hard and I feel like they don't have as much flavor, but these are are so soft and gooey and they're just amazing like I've never been disappointed they're a little bit pricier but I think they're worth it because it's like eating heaven and then finally I got chili spice mango from Trader Joe's if you've never had this before you definitely need to try it I love the combination of sweet salty spicy things like different flavor combinations and this is just perfect because you have the sweet mango and it's like slightly spicy from the chili flakes and the texture of it is really good too and it's like not even that expensive so it's definitely worth a try if you live near Trader Joe's. Alright guys that's everything I'm just gonna put everything in my fridge I hope you like this video let me know if you want me to do more grocery hauls because I mean it's pretty easy to show my food to you I can do them pretty frequently if you want and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.